It's the history of RPGs powered by Summoner's War. And this week we're looking at the best RPGs of all time. You're gonna have feelings about it. We've looked at every single role-playing video game ever made and we've come up with a definitive, inarguable list of the greatest RPGs of all time, starting with number seven, Fallout New Vegas. The most truly non-linear RPG of the last 15 years, you can play New Vegas pretty much however you want. Want to kill absolutely no one? Go for it. Want to kill literally every character, except for the kids? You can! Want to dress your character up like David Tennant and focus solely on science, running, and being charming? I did, and it was great. I recommend it to my friends and family. Where the other recent fallouts basically require the player to go through a series of scripted plot quests that almost always involve blowing up a lot of super mutants, Fallout New Vegas allows you to skip the vast majority of its content if you want to. Even an amateur speedrunner can complete the entire game in 45 minutes with no glitching, and that's by design. You can play it however you want to play it, and that's why it's number seven. Number six, Mass Effect 2. The suicide mission structure to this game is so dramatically effective and interesting that it's borderline infuriating that Mass Effect 2 is the only one to try it. The characters are great, the story missions are specifically about getting to know those characters, and the combat is dramatically improved over Mass Effect 1. Seriously, so much better. The opening twist also changes the status quo of the universe such that you feel like a newcomer to the world all over again, and you actually end up feeling a greater sense of discovery about the universe than you felt in Mass Effect 1. Seriously, that opening in Mass Effect 2, spoiler alert, where you die, like, fantastic. Blew my little mind. Also Morden, and Jack, and Thane. Oh, sweet Thane. And not Miranda. Fuck Miranda. I mean, you can fuck Miranda in the game, but, but also metaphorically, fuck Miranda. How good was Thane, though, in Shape of Water, huh? Man. Number five, Summoner's War. 90 million downloads can't be wrong, right? Summoner's War makes our list because we feel mobile RPGs are underrepresented and Fallout New Vegas is the next four spots, spoiler alert. The gameplay itself is utterly addicting and endlessly replayable. From a mechanic standpoint alone, Summoner's War is on our list. Number four, Fallout New Vegas. Where other RPGs are about saving the world from an obviously evil bad guy, New Vegas refuses to indulge in such simple morality or unrelatably high stakes. In New Vegas, you're fighting for A, personal revenge, and B, which wasteland faction gets control over the Hoover Dam and the political power that comes with it. And while the main baddies in the game are definitely slaver assholes, they've got their reasons, however perverse, for being slaver assholes. And even the good guys, the NCR, are a bunch of bureaucrats who don't really know what they're doing. You'll have some real moral choices to make as you determine the fate of the dam, and that's all after you decide how you want to get vengeance on Matthew Perry. Let me live, Benny, and I'll never come after you, pinky swear. What a fink. My personal favorite way is to let the slavers have him and then kill him in gladiatorial combat, but you do you. You're an individual. Number three, Fallout New Vegas. Because it has a sex bot named Fisto. That's why it's number three. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Number two, Fallout New Vegas. God, so there's Veronica Santangelo, who is basically lesbian Felicia Day, who loves punching shit with a robo fist. There's Raul Tejada, the ghoul mechanic voiced by Danny Trejo. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Then there's Lily Bowen, a friendly super mutant nightkin who has the personality of a sweet old grandma, but will obliterate bad guys with a single blow. My, how you're grown up. You probably think we're not gonna make number one Fallout New Vegas because we called that earlier, right? Wrong. Number one, Fallout New Vegas. Stick to the joke. The DC alone is worth the price of admission, especially Old World Blues, where you'll meet a toaster that wants to destroy the world, robot scorpions that shoot lasers, and a bunch of super intelligent neurotic scientists, one of whom is voiced by Dr. Venture. Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. Also, one time I snuck into the camp of the big boss of the evil faction, and I punched him in the ass so hard he exploded. Fallout New Vegas, greatest RPG of all time. That's it, our top seven Fallout New Vegases. Let us know in the comments which Fallout New Vegas is your favorite Fallout New Vegas, and we'll see you next Fallout New Vegas. I'm Fallout New Vegas, and enjoy the history of Fallout New Vegas.